So I had a big day planned today. Um, we've got a storm potentially coming tonight and we are desperate for it because we're on our last little bit of rainwater and when that runs out we need to buy water. So hopefully we get the 15 mils today and 20 mils tomorrow which would make, be, make a huge difference in our water um, situation. But, whoops. Um, so we're supposed to be collecting firewood before it rains so we get some more dry wood in the shed um, and before the, the tracks get really slushy. And then we wanted to get some cars undercover because they're predicting large hailstones um, and who knows nice. if that will happen or not but we just want to be prepared so we can be inside when the storm actually hits. But this morning when Paul went to let the chickens out we found some more dead guinea fowl, two of them actually. And so we're actually off to the vet with the last remaining alive one. I know, we're going to a vet with a bird. Anyway, we're going to the vet with the bird so we can figure out what the heck is going on because we've lost a couple of ducklings, um, we've lost a couple of guinea fowl, we've lost a couple of chickens, and it seems to happen to only the young birds. So we're wondering if there was a disease in the sheds when we moved in because um, diseases can live in the ground for quite some time and the people didn't have chickens when we came to buy the house so maybe there was a reason for that um, so we're just trying to figure out what the heck is going on so we can fix it because we're done with things dying we have had enough we are so over it <laughs> so anyway we'll let you know what the heck is going on when we find out So we're supposed to be looking for firewood and instead we found a new swimming hole. The storm's just hit and it's about 6.30 at night. We received a phone call from the vet at 6 but we missed it but he left a voicemail saying that he believes it could be worms. Um, and when we looked up all the symptoms that we've been having, it, it matches. So we've got another two chickens down at the moment. So I've got some human herbal um, deworm up. It's got everything in it that you can use for a chicken. It's got black walnut shell, it's got um, wormwood and a heap of other things like thyme and I can't remember everything but uh, it's all in there so we're going to try and use that out of desperation because the um, pet food store or you know the stock feeders is closed we can't get um, chemical medication as much as I don't believe in it we're going to use it in this situation I've also got some garlic with some apple cider vinegar I've got some diatomaceous earth as well which we're going to give out of desperation we're going to treat the entire flock um, yeah, and then we'll treat again tomorrow with chemicals because we are losing all our birds and I never thought I'd be in this situation. Um, yeah, it sucks. But I think my battery's going to die. I'll try and film as much as we can 
Um, hopefully we get some of this rain that's threatening to fall and we get a couple of drops there. Um, but on the radar it seems it's mostly missing us so it's just been one of those days, it's been one of those months I feel like we just keep getting kicked and kicked and kicked each time we fall down. Um, so just looking forward to getting out of this season. It happens, it's life, you know, it happens. Yeah, but it's never fun to be in the low, lows, but after a low there's always a high, so. Paul's just liming the pens. It seems to happen mainly at night when uh, the chickens die and the, the ducklings and the guineas. So spreading lime because that does kill um, just about everything. And hopefully we don't lose any more because it's really hard. It's been really, really hard. The rain is finally here. We've had about 15 mils so far and it's glorious. We've got half a tank full of water. Much, much, much needed, guys.